the Joe Rogan experience. And the baseball players, ugh. they're making tons of money. Yeah, all guaranteed. Yeah. Yeah. So you, if you hear a football player got a fifty million dollar contract, it's not fifty million dollars. It's you know, it's ten million guaranteed with bonuses of this and mm -hmm. you know shit like that. But if you hear that a baseball player got a like that that Japanese dude, did he just get a half a billion dollars? Yeah, he He's getting all that money, every single penny. He it's deferred it just like Bobby Bonilla did, which is a pretty fun story. So the Japanese dude, is that the dude who has the gambling problem? Uh, maybe. Is that a... <laughs> no, you think it's somebody else. Is that that guy? Yeah, Shoei Otani. Yeah, Yo, Shoei Otani. Yeah. So that dude gambles. Yeah, or his... That's what they What's say. What's the story? Yeah. They said his interpreter took a bunch... Or he says his interpreter gambled took okay. a bunch of money from him. Okay, let me ask you this. Do you think that the situation with someone like that uh, who uh, comes from another country... Do you think that maybe organized crime comes with him a little bit? I've heard that, but also there's a lot of a little bit, little bit of like yakuza action. I, I mean, that, that's definitely a taste. That's definitely feasible, but just because his his family's back there, yeah. So, so it's like if I want to exploit you somehow. Also, he might have a you know meaningful relationship with those people. But, but also, though, a half a billion dollars is enough to when you you unbossed at that point, you just have somebody wiped out. You can flip it on them, you know. I don't what? know. I don't Isn't know if I'm if I'm worth half a billion dollars. Ain't nobody telling me what to fucking do. Right. No way. Because you can get to because you at that point now where you have power. Like that's kind of money that nobody's ex, no mob no mafia boss is exploiting you when you're a billionaire. We just don't have it yet, technically. Yeah, but that don't matter because because yeah, but he might have a relationship with them. Yeah, you yeah. know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm not saying he does, but I'm saying that in certain situations, like if you get in bed with organized crime and they help you in your career. Like, there was always insinuations that Frank Sinatra was involved in the mob, for instance. Oh, right, right, yeah. You know, and you would imagine that, like, Frank Sinatra would probably be a terrible guy to piss off because he probably can contact some people and you probably can disappear. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah for sure. Uh, 100%, right? So a guy like that, if he wants to leave the connection with the mob, I bet that's pretty dicey. Yeah, I bet that's real dicey. What, so you just stay with them. But what would the mob do for a baseball player? I don't know. I don't know. But I, I would imagine, I mean, what are we talking about? The Yakuza? The, I think most really sophisticated organized crime um, comp companies, you can call them a company, I think they probably have strategies to maximize their income in all sorts of ways. Yeah. And they probably offer protection so that, uh, you know, you don't have to worry about people fucking with you, and in return, you give them a certain amount of money per month. Does that never mean Otani's not a smart guy? Does it, or does it mean that that's the cost of doing business where he lived? And I'm like, oh no, I mean now. It's like, how the Japanese mob gonna protect you in America? You don't think they can do things over here? I mean, they probably could do a couple things, but they they don't have like a. If you're gonna have someone whacked, that would be the coolest guy to have someone whacked. Oh, but a to, Japanese assassin, right? Oh, but to be like, I'm someone gonna protect you full time all over America. I don't know. If that's possible. Yeah, I don't know. No, but half a billion dollars for playing a game. So what was the problem? They they said that he was gambling on something he shouldn't have gambled on. Is that what it is? Uh, well, that's a multi layered problem because first of all, he does, like he has an interpreter with him at, like at all times. I think. Uh, so, how much into his financial life? You know, does that guy have ability to get into do with things? And what was the accusation? I'm trying to find out the extra, like... The I know that I way. only know about it because Andrew Schultz had a joke where he was talking about uh, him gambling. Well, I don't understand why he's not allowed to gamble. As long as he's betting on himself to win. Uh, That's a hard rule, no, in right? baseball. Why you, can't be, why you can't bet on yourself? Most sports, actually. That's a new rule at the UFC. What? You can't gamble. No, no one from the organization can gamble on the fights. But, but what I'm saying is, and that makes perfect sense. Yeah. But I'm saying the fighters should be able to gamble so long as they betting on themselves to win. Right. I you, think so. You know? Yeah. It's like as a, long as they're betting on themselves to win. A football player got in trouble for that recently. He was he was actually get, he gambled on his team to win in a game that he wasn't playing in because he was hurt. And he got in trouble. I thought it was more than four and a half million. I didn't want to state it without it. His, uh claim was his interpreter took four and a half million dollars to pay off gambling debts from an illegal bookie oh that's under federal investigation so they were saying that it was his money and he was saying no my uh former interpreter he stole that money 
and he paid off his gambling debts. Right. That might some, be true. Some people don't believe the story. They think that he was just gambling and blaming it on this guy. It says Otani was, said he was unaware of the payments and never bet on sports with the bookie. Yeah, but hmm. even but even if that's true, it's like okay, well you're the fall guy. That's what that was was your job hmm. from the beginning, hmm. is to go gamble for me so hmm. that it didn't get connected to me. It's a little yeah, it's a little it's a little fishy. It is a little. It does sound a little convenient. A little convenient. You didn't notice four and a half million missing. <laughs> right until until <laughs> until he got so you fired him and didn't but didn't you fired him but didn't say nothing about him gambling then until he right, got caught. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah, but it, but it's like that's your job. Take that take that fall. You know he didn't do anything because they didn't, um, you know, they didn't take any of his money or or penalize him in any way, did they? Well, if they can't definitively tie him to that, I don't know what they can do. I don't know how that works. If the guy, they could actually get the guy, and they could get the guy to admit that he used the money and he embezzled the money. How is that? I don't know what the story is. It's it could it sounds like oh I don't believe him, but it could be true. Like we're just talking shit. But who? How does baseball have that much money? People love it. I don't know anyone that watches baseball. Not, not not as their number one sport. Some people love it. They love it. They love baseball. They live for it. They live million? for go. Ari loves it. He loves going to the games. Uh, loves it. Yeah, ten billion dollars in revenue in twenty twenty two. Jesus. Ten billion? Yeah. They have huge T V deal contracts because it's on all summer when there's no other sports on. And there's thirty two teams and games last three hours, you know. It's also casual sport watching. Sports betting. So you watch um, baseball while you're hanging out with your buddies. Yeah, you don't have to pay attention. And you can talk yeah. about all kinds of other shit. You can right. bullshit while the game's going on. You're not locked until the guy's throwing the pitch. There's a lot of downtime. Right. You're talking shit. You know what Debbie told me? Tell me if this is ridiculous. And you start talking, and right. you're drinking. You want another hot dog? Fuck yeah. If you're watching Anderson Silva fight Vitor Belfort, you're fucking glued. You're like, shut the fuck up! Shut the fuck up. Like, you don't want anybody talking to you about bills. You, you, you want to what? What is happening? What is happening? Bro, this is so crazy. That's